Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing really well. And before I start the video, there is just something I want to mention that I have been looking at my YouTube analytics and I have seen that a lot of you guys have been watching this channel, but I don't know, for some reason, you guys probably are forgetting to subscribe. So just in case, if you haven't subscribed to the channel until now, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell icon. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm to recommend this video to other people. And most importantly, it helps me a lot. So let's begin with the video. Uh, recently, uh, there has been an incident. And if you are someone who has been keeping an aquarium or if you have ever seen an aquarium, uh, and especially if you are an aquarist, you will know that the worst nightmare uh, of an aquarist is that if your tank breaks. Yes, and my worst nightmare has come true. Yes, my aquarium just cracked out of nowhere. How? I have no idea. So let me explain. One day I just walked into my room and I saw that my aquarium was cracked open from the center and the water was just gushing out. Luckily, it has had happened maybe just a few minutes back, so I was able to get things under control. The first thing I did was switch off all the electricity to the tank, uh, just to avoid any sort of uh, electrical shocks. And I started draining the water into the drain because otherwise uh, the room would have been flooded badly. Uh, even though I did that, still I had a lot of water to take care of, but uh, it was still under control but there was a lot of mess, yes. Luckily, I was able to save my fish and other stuff. They have taken some damage, but still, uh, I was lucky enough to save most of it. Once this happened, I had to move all my fish to my quarantine tank, and I had to put all my plants and everything in a separate bucket. And then I had to think, what shall I do next? It was a time of uh, thinking, uh, I was thinking, shall I just stop everything altogether? Maybe this is the time I end this hobby, for now at least. Shall I do something else? Shall I give this time to something else in my life? Or shall I start over? Uh, it was a disaster that came with an opportunity as well, uh, but the choice was mine. And at the end, finally, I decided to start it all over again, and this time, go bigger. But this time I have been really very careful because I have no idea what was the exact reason that made my previous tank crack. So I made sure that the tank is level, the floor is level, uh, the tank is level with the water full in it and there is no uh, reasons for it to crack. My plants have taken a hit because they were sitting in a bucket for a few weeks without proper lighting and they're in real bad condition, but I'm hopeful that they will bounce back and they will be beautiful again. Uh, so I will show you my tank and how it looks now. And with all this, I want to show you that something amazing has happened. Uh, I have been keeping mostly discus fish now. They're amazing, beautiful fish. If you're someone who knows about uh, discus fish or if you have been keeping them for any amount of time, you will know that one of the greatest things you can witness while you're keeping these fish is to see them breed. And yes, uh, I was just surprised to see that uh, two of my fish, they just paired up and they started breeding. It began with the cracking of my tank and ended up with my fish breeding. So it's been an amazing experience for now. And uh, I will just show you my tank, and uh, how it looks now and my fish and everything. I hope you guys enjoy it. And don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Until then, Peace.